guys, welcome back to my channel and those who are new, welcome to Create You, a place where I'm here to help you create your best you, inspire you to create your best art, and give you the courage to live and create your best life. And this particular episode is going to be a bit different. I have a new setup right now. Um, as you guys know, I accidentally broke my Apple Pen so by accident. I dropped it on its tip and it flattened it. Yeah, so a new one's coming in next week, uh, which I'm super excited about, but I'm going to be doing it this way today, um, somewhat. So I wanted to give you a, people have asked what my setup looks like. This is my setup right now. So yeah, you got to make it work. Do what you got to do. But um, there is this app that I found. It's called Wanna Draw. And it's so cool because you literally, that one's app is completely free. I'm not sponsored by the app and it will be in the description box down below. But it's so cool because it literally, you download the app and then you press this button where it shuffles all of these different artist prompts and you have to draw whatever prompt pops up. And it's so cool and I'm gonna show you basically how I did it and what I got and I actually did this sketch on my iPad with my finger so yeah I did this with my finger and then I had to import it so I can be able to do it on my Wacom Cintiq so this is my Wacom Cintiq I told you about um, I usually don't sit here as much because it can get uncomfortable at times I'm gonna get a new chair eventually so I can sit here um, more often but we are going to get into the Wanna Draw app and have some fun. So it's going to shift into this screen here. So um, I'm so excited to show you this. It was so much fun. So let's get into it. See you in a second. Okay, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the Wanna Draw app. It is free and click Random Draw Generator. And what it does, it shuffles through a whole bunch of stuff. And I, honestly, I was hella nervous. Um, the first couple of times. So yeah, it's gonna go for a few minutes because I just wanted to get a good one and I got Godzilla as a knight. Weird, right? So yeah, that's my dogs. Um, but um, it was really a lot of fun um, trying to come up with uh, Godzilla as a knight. And I've seen all the Godzilla movies and honestly, Godzilla is Japanese. So I thought of, let's, and I was like, eh, let's do something Japanese, you know, Japanese inspired. So my type of knight is more of a samurai type, femaleish type woman Godzilla person. I know that's really random, but I do, I do women very well. So I was like, let's make Godzilla into a woman. <gasps> women Godzilla hybrid. It's awesome, right? Yeah, I know. Um, so that's what I came up with and I thought it was super cool so I ended up doing this sketch um, in on my iPad um, at first with my finger like I said before because um, I was not at home where I could sit at my Wacom I was at my uh, fiance's house so I was just sketching to get uh, to get started on it because I know I'm sorry guys it is a day or two behind I usually post on Wednesdays but it's been hecka busy and I'm just trying to get everything crammed together. So thank you for being patient and hanging with me anyway. I love you guys so much. Um, but I went ahead and redrew it in um, Clip Art Studio. That's the program that I use here. And um, on my Wacom Cintiq, so we're getting into the inking. I literally had to speed that. This took me three hours and some change to do this whole thing because of the detail and things I did to it. And so I had to speed it up so quick just to get it down to 17 minutes you have no idea but um i had to relearn how to use clip art studio and how to use the brushes and things because i totally forgot i'm so used to use, using procreate now and i'm so in love with using procreate so this was a bit of a challenge at first and my computer runs a little bit slow at times so it was it was interesting it was interesting but it was fun coming up with this character I don't have a name for her so if you guys could give me a good name for her that would be awesome and if you want to see more of her let me know put that in the comments box below and uh, let me know what name I should give her um, you'll see more of her you know her coloring and things like that so um, you will see that so you can come up with a really good name for her but 
getting the lines and things back to the way that it was the, I mean the way that I used to do it and getting used to the ink the the pen lines and the strokes and all that stuff it was it was something else I'll tell you tell you the truth but what do we do we keep going and we don't give up we don't give up and we create amazing art when we do so that's what I ended up doing I just stuck with it it took a while like I said this whole piece took three hours and some change um, usually more my more extensive art does end up taking me about three four or five hours depending on what it is especially if I do a full background or something it usually takes me that long but um oh um, I want to tell you guys too, I have a TikTok now. Yeah, I have a TikTok now. So I do place some art on my TikTok. So it is the same as my IG. So that will be in the description box below. Also, if you want to see some sneak sneak peeks of some old art and some new art um, that I'm putting up there. Um, I just did one of DD from Dexter's Laboratory and that one's on there. I posted that today. Um, and this is going to be, this video is going to be posted tomorrow, which is Friday morning. So definitely check that out that'll be in the description box below but now we're getting into the fun part I had to come up with a color palette and trying to figure out she's Godzilla so you know green is going to be in there so I definitely wanted to get some cool colors in there but I wanted to get some pops of color in there so you know the whole I wanted to definitely keep the Japanese theme so I definitely want to get some red in there and the big red circle in the back is for the Japanese flag of course um, and you're gonna see me getting into the the base colors which if you follow any of my tutorials before or any of my artwork in general um, you know I always do usually do the base colors first and then I get into the sh shadowing highlighting and then accent colors and all that great stuff so that is what I'm getting into now and using the lasso tool um, in clip art studio is awesome I'm still learning how to do it in procreate I don't have everything completely down yet but that's what we do we learn and we get better as we do so this was definitely a lot of fun getting back into and the more I got back into it the more I realized how much I missed it so um, if you can slow it down to follow the process and if you want to draw along definitely get your tablets and pens and papers out and definitely try the app yourself it's a whole lot of fun and trust me it is worth it so let me go ahead and get this picture going for you guys and I'll be back with you in a second Okay, now we guys are getting into my favorite part of the entire picture is adding the accent pink, pink color. I don't know why I'm loving doing this lately, but I'm loving it a lot and it gives the photo so much depth to me and it looks so cool and I'm loving it. I'm just really loving it and I love it against that blue and I just love her pose. I love everything about this picture. It came out so good and I'm so thankful and I hope you guys are following um, some of the things that I I end up doing because I think my process is pretty easy to follow I hope it is but if it's not let me know and I can try my best to slow it down for you but I do have a few other videos of if you want to learn learn how to draw skin um, color skin I have a video for that um, there's a tutorial on how to draw breasts thighs booties all that great stuff i have tutorials for them all so you can follow along and how to color hair um, i'm gonna do uh i did a eye one um way back when um but i'm gonna do another one a more updated version so you can see how i color eyes a little bit better so i definitely want to help you guys as much as i possibly can thank you guys so much we're finishing up this picture i love each and every one of you remember to hit that like subscribe and the notification bell so you will know every single time I post a new video and also again don't forget hit that affiliate of Amazon influencer link if you want to know 
any other art supplies that I do use um, and programs that I use that will be there I do get a portion of that so thank you guys so much in advance um, and also join my patreon that helps and support my art also but even if you can't do that just you watching the video subscribing and hitting that like and leaving a comment on the bottom is more than enough I truly appreciate each and every one of you I love you so much stay safe stay healthy and stay inside so I'll see you next time. We'll do something more amazing. And love you guys. See you next time. Oh, guys, and don't forget, for my Patreon and other Meteor handles, down in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye.